Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel where I make affinity fun and easy to learn. In this video, I'll be showing you how I was able to create this poster inside of affinity. If you've not subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the videos I'll be posting in time. Without having to say much, let's get started. So this is the interface. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on file and click on new, right? So I'm just going to make, select my size. I'm using a four by five inches, please. Resolution 300 and everything else stays the same. So click, click on create document, click on create document. And it's going to open up a document like this. The first thing I want to do is go over to your rectangle tool and select the rectangle tool. Draw the rectangle like this. And um, quickly, I'm going to fill this up with the base color, which is red. So remove the outline. Click on this. Click on this and select the red color. Yeah. So this is the first thing we're going to be doing here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going over. Okay, so the base color is set. The next thing I'm going to do is go to resource file. The link to download this resource file is in the description of this video. So do well to get yours. So drag inside like this and I'm going to place this here at the base. And of course, I'm going to make it bigger like this. Okay, I'm going to make it bigger like this and I'm going to click on the transparency. I'm inside the Vector Studio, guys, inside the Vector Studio. So I'm going to um, apply the transparency to this, right? Just to make it blend well. With this still selected, I'm going to go to Live Filters and I'm going to click on Gaussian Blow. And I'm going to increase this. Right? When I'm done, I'm going to click out and this is the result of what I have. I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to proceed with other things. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the source file. I'm going to bring in this image, right? So I'm just dragging and dropping inside here. Now this image would be a light effect on top, but don't worry, it's on a different color. First and foremost, use the transparency to, to fade this out from black to white like this. And when you've done that, let me move this in place. I'm going to change the blend mode to glow. So select glow where you have glow, right? And the next thing, which is the step three, I'm going to go over to adjustment and I'm going to select recolor, right? Now you have to be careful with this. Use my settings here. I'm going to increase this just a bit, but we have a problem is affecting the entire layers. So I'm just going to drag it on top of this image to create a clipping mask. So it's going to be affecting just this image. You can see just this image, very important. So I can move this upward like this to have this nice, lovely effect. So let's move on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this image. So basically still dragging and dropping and uh, I'm going to have this here, okay? So I'm going to have this here click enter and I'm going to click on develop and um, I'm going to make this image pop by using these settings. So I'm going to increase the clarity and um, when I'm done, I'm going to click on develop and um, you can see my image is looking sharp and clear. Very important. The next thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to bring in the picture of Santa, drag and drop wherever you're watching me from at this moment in time. Happy holidays to you all. So I'm just going to bring this here. And of course, I'm going to make it slightly smaller like this. And uh, select. move it slightly using my arrow key so it's in the middle like like this 
select the transparency and I'm just going to do this. And um, of course, so that I have a nice blend between the image and the background, right? So now that this is out of the way, the next thing I'm going to do is click on adjustment layer and I'm going to select curves and I'm going to bring this down like this, right? And I'm going to click out and of course I'm going to mask this, right? So invert the mask and I'm going to use my brush tool to paint on this manually. So I'm going to switch to my pixel studio and with my brush selected, my foreground color is set to white guys, All right? So white. So I'm just going to add that adjustment to these areas and make it darker to create a nice blend of shadows right on the beard region here i'm just gonna have that make it darker make it darker here and of course you can feel free to zoom in and um to add extra areas where you want your shadows to be like areas like this and if i take this down you can see the effect right so click out when you're done and easy peasy that works So let's move on. I'm going over to my source file and I'm going to bring in my text, which is this text here. And I'm going to put it, position this here. I'm going to position this here. I'm going to select this too. I'm going to move it upward using my up arrow key like this. And then I'm going to throw in some light effects. So I'm just going to drag this inside. This is going to be our light source. But before I start with this, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. So it blends well with what I have. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this effects to where I have the lights on this bulbs you are seeing around here. Ctrl J, duplicate this. I'm going to make this uh, bigger. And um, of course, I'm going to have it somewhere here. I have a light effect here. Let's have light here. And um, probably one on top of the box Santa is holding. Right? And make it bigger. To make this bigger. Um, this is too much. I'm going to make it smaller. Like this. And click out when you're done. Okay. Reduce this one slightly. I'm going to leave it at 84. And um, yeah, easy peasy. I'm just going to add noise to the background, which is if you have it like this click on it to activate the noise and increase this like this and that's all we've just created our first christmas flyer inside of affinity studio with over 1000 premium fonts over 100 high quality psd flyer templates over 700 icons, over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high resolution backgrounds, 1,000 plus 3D and PNG assets, editable PSD templates, and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.